Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. This is the first of many videos that will go through QuickBooks Online and how to use the software. It's going to be quite an extensive series. I'll go through everything from raising invoices to recording supplier invoices to bank reconciliations, looking at age debtors reports, and hopefully cover everything you need to know to use QuickBooks Online. In this first video, I'm just gonna go through the company preferences, and from there, we'll start looking into the customer module. So welcome to this video. If this is the first video of mine that you have ever viewed, I'm the Bookkeeping Master. I have 150 plus videos on YouTube to date, all about accounting software and accounting principles. I cover a lot of bookkeeping, double entry bookkeeping and other things. I have a, a website full of free videos and free advice, so please check that out. That's www.freebookkeepingaccounting.com. So in this first video, we're going to look at editing the company settings on QuickBooks. There is a lot more in the settings tab that we will cover at the end of this course, but at the beginning here, we'll just look at a, a few things. So at the top right here, you should have a name. This is Samuel Morton Company. That's my name, the bookkeeping master, Samuel Morton. And there's a little gear next to that. If you click there, you'll then have a number of options come down and what we're going to look at in this video is the company settings so let's click, click on company settings you'll have this box appear your company name this is where you put in your company name so if you click the pencil you can change that so let's change it to let's say bpfs limited that's the name of my bookkeeping company i, I own a bookkeeping company and I do a lot of bookkeeping, credit control for other companies. So save BPFS Limited. You can add your company logo. It's good to add the logo in if you've got it. The reason being it will then appear on your invoices and things. So all you do is click customize logo, find your logo and then upload it. Make sure you click save. So that's the company name. We can then enter the contact information. Once again, this will appear on invoices and other documents. So once again, let's click the pencil and put in the company details. So just for this video, I'll put 123 BPFS Road City that is in bookkeeping town which is in Norfolk apparently and let's do IP 23 4 PO a made up postcode you can also enter your customer address and legal address if you want to know further details about these things there are little question marks next to these titles and these little question marks are all around the software so if you ever so if you ever have a question about what a customer address or legal address is all you do is click the question mark and it will come up so for the legal address we have address used for filing taxes if left blank company address is used so those can be helpful you can put in your email. Once again, this will appear on invoices and other documents. You have your customer email. This is customer for QuickBooks. Um, info at bpfs-online.com. That's my email address. If you ever need any help with QuickBooks, drop me an email to that address. Company phone number. So you can put in your, your phone number there and your company website. So let's put in my website which is www.freebookkeepingaccounting.com. I can usually write quicker than this, 
but I'm doing it with one hand as I have the microphone in my other hand. Okay, so that information is all now saved with the company address, the name, perhaps a logo, the email address. And then there are some other things down the bottom here, like a registration number if you are a limited company, and then language. So once you're happy with that, click done, and that's your company all set up on QuickBooks. In the next video, we will start looking at the customer module, and I will start showing you how to create new customers or record new customers on QuickBooks. Thank you for watching. There'll be a link in the description below for the next video and also a button to the right here. Thank you for watching.